Um, I made this kind of base map using a, a mask of Hackney, which is the grey shape you can see, and uh, the, the main rows in brown. Sent this off to about 10 other people and asked them to start dropping pins on the map, um, which they did like, incredibly quickly. Like People took to this really, really well. It was very, very sad. I know some of them were on the call. Guys, brilliant. Well done. Um, this is really pleasing. Like, within about a week or so, we've managed to gather all this all this data that you can see here. And sometimes people put notes on it. Um, like Sometimes people put pictures on. I don't know if you can see that there. Um, so yeah, like really, really quickly, we managed to gather like loads of useful information. Um, the next stage in the workflow was to download this point layer um, from Felt. If you haven't done that before, uh, there is uh, export as GeoJSON. Oops, disappeared. Um, and I then brought that into QGIS, which is an open source bit of software for manipulating geospatial data. Um, it's very powerful. It's not hugely user friendly, but what I wanted to do was um, turn these points into little into lines, basically. So I wanted to extract from a layer of the existing road network that I got from OpenStreetMap to make uh, lines showing you not just where, the, where these crossings were, but where they would go to and where they would go from, because I thought that was going to be much more useful. Uh, and the other thing we, I wanted to do in QGIS was basically use it to manipulate the data so that when I uploaded it again to felt it was going to be in the right, uh, you know, the structure of the data was going to give me the, the options to display it in the way I wanted to. So I'm just going to go to finish map now. And you can see that these points have become lines, um, pink ones for ones that we're proposing and green ones for ones that are already in existence. Um, and I think these lines are much more powerful in, in telling the story we want to tell, which is that you know you can join up these gateways to make routes basically cover the whole of, whole of the borough. So there are a few other things that I've, um, I wanted to add to this map as well. Um, those low traffic neighborhoods that I was telling you about, so that's a layer on there as well. Just gonna turn that on. So these are the ones that were put in during COVID. You can see it's like a huge area. And you can see, I hope, the way that these gateways will link up those areas to make uh, make that um, a much safer place to, for people to cycle long distances across the borough. Um, another one of our aims was about enabling um, kids to cycle to school. So I was pleased with this. This is one of the things in the styling options. If you zoom in, didn't want them to become available straight away. But if you zoom in, you can see the schools. And if you zoom in further, the names pop up on them as well.